Hello dear students today we are going to see an experiment about laser and diffraction the aim of the experiment is to find out the diameter of a given wire using laser but what is laser and what is diffraction that is what we are going to learn in this particular experiment so what is laser full form of laser is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation laser can be of any form or it can be of any material for example this is the semiconducting laser or helium neon laser ruby laser or different types of gas lasers or solid state lasers etc what are the characteristics of laser all of you know that laser is having highly monochromaticity high directionality high brightness intensity these are the characteristics of the laser and because of these characteristics it is having tremendous applications in different fields in this experiment you are going to learn about this laser practically how actually the beam is how it is having its own characteristics and you will also learn about diffraction now what is diffraction bending of light across the edges of an obstacle is called as diffraction of light two types fresnel and fronoffer diffraction in fresnel distances are finite and in fronoffer diffraction distances are infinite again in fronoffer diffraction there are two types one is called as single slit diffraction and other is called as the multiple slit diffraction example of multiple slit diffraction that is a diffraction grating that already we have covered in different experiment and today in this experiment we are going to see the front of a diffraction due to single slit now here in this case slit will be our wire so to understand all these concepts let us go to the laboratory dear students one thing you have to remember in mind is that this experiment must be performed in dark room only we are using here external light only for demonstration purpose now first let us take a look at the apparatus so first you will see this is helium neon laser which is in my hand which is very bulky if you compare this with this semiconducting diode laser which is very uh, compact then you can see here this is a wire whose diameter is to be find out so you can see i have attached a very thin wire here to this stand and we have to find out the diameter of this thin wire using laser and diffraction phenomena then we are going to use the screen here on the screen you will see the diffraction pattern due to uh, laser and lastly we will need this particular measuring tape dear students while performing any laser experiment you have to take the precaution that you should not look into the laser beam or laser beam should not fall in your eyes so that precaution you have to take because laser is highly intense light and if it falls in eyes eyes will get damaged permanently so take care about this while performing the experiment we will understand a ray diagram for this experiment here so this is the laser laser beam is coming out of this and wire we have to keep here vertically and then you will get the diffracted beam and that we will see on the screen here the distance between wire and screen is capital d on the screen you will see the diffraction pattern that i am going to show you later on and on the screen you will see the single slit diffraction pattern uh, so like this is having a central maximum then first order minimum then first order maximum and so on on both the sides after all uh, afterwards well, we have to measure the distance as d1 d2 etc so what is d1 d1 is the distance of the first order minimum from the central maximum what is small d2 it is the distance of second order minimum from the central maximum so this is the ray diagram now we will understand the theory behind this that is how we can calculate the diameter of wire using diffraction so here this is a single slit diffraction and you know the condition for single slit diffraction what is that condition yes that is a sin theta is equal to n lambda what is a a is a slit width theta is angle of diffraction for particular order what is n n is the order of minima 
lambda is the wavelength of incident monochromatic light here in this case we are using the helium ion laser so its wavelength that we will use for calculations so hence we can write here a now here in this case a that is the slit width is nothing but the diameter of wire and will be equal to a equal to n lambda by sin theta and it can be written as if n is equal to 1 then we can write here a is equal to lambda by sin theta and now again what is sin theta how we can find out sin theta so again we will use this diagram here so theta theta is what angle of diffraction and what is sin theta sin theta is opposite side by hypotenuse now opposite side is a small d1 so here sin theta will be equal to opposite side that is small d1 divided by hypotenuse now in this case hypotenuse and adjacent side are almost same because of the long distance between the wire and the screen therefore we are taking capital d as a hypotenuse and therefore we can write the formula like this hence by measuring these distances small d and capital d we can find out sin theta and from sin theta and wavelength we can find the diameter of d1 wire now i will switch on this helium ion laser and on the screen you will see the spot which is very fine so here you will see the characteristic of laser that is it is highly directional beam so the beam is starting from here and it is reaching to that particular point and still you will find that there is a very small divergence compared to other sources therefore it is highly directional beam and you will also see the intensity is very high that also you can see highly bright intense source of the light highly directional source and you will also see that it is of red color here in this case it means that it is a monochromatic you will never find a white light laser or white colored laser so laser is always of some particular color because it is monochromatic so these are the characteristics of the laser that practically you can see now i will put this wire that you have just seen that is a thin wire whose diameter is to be found out that i will put in the path of this beam and now simultaneously you can see the single slit diffraction pattern on the screen okay now i have adjusted this particular pattern on the screen now you can see the wire is illuminated by laser and you can see the diffraction pattern on the screen now i switch off the lights which are external here and you will see a very clear pattern now the pattern that you are observing here is uh, horizontal because our wire is vertical remember this and now i will explain the different components of this pattern this is what is your actual Fraunhofer diffraction due to single slit slit here is nothing but our wire which is obstacle now we will understand this pattern here or the different parts or components of this pattern so at the center you will see very high brightness here uh, you may see this as a white but this is not white uh, it is whiteness is just because of the uh, camera limitations but actually it is red and it is which is highly bright here so this is having a high brightness this is called as a central maximum or principal maximum or zeroth order maximum then on either side you will see some bright spots and these are nothing but the maximas and these are also having their orders like this is the first order on the right hand side this is first order on left hand side and this is second order on right hand side third order fourth order fifth order sixth order and so on on right hand side similarly on the left hand side and you will see there are dark spots in between the bright spots and these are nothing but the minimums so like this is the first order minimum this is second order minimum this is third order minimum fourth order and so on on both the sides
Now quickly we will understand the observation table. So here is serial number 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. Now order of minimals n, just I have explained their different order of minimals. So here it will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Distance of band from central maxima small d centimeters in centimeters. So that we will measure. Distance between screen and wire capital D centimeters that will be common for all the readings here and that also we are going to measure. From this small d and capital D as we have discussed in this formula that just I had explained here. So we have seen that sin theta is equal to small d1 by capital D. So using this formula we can find out this sin theta here for different values of small d. And using this formula that is a is equal to lambda by sin theta we can find out the diameter of a given wire and then we can take average of it. Okay, so let's first take a reading of capital D and that is the distance between wire and screen. See here using measuring tape we can take this particular distance. So wire is at this level and from this level we can measure the distance up to screen. So you can see here this distance is 129 centimeter and in addition to that this is 55 so 129 plus 55 that is our total distance capital D hence total distance capital D is 184 centimeters now we will measure the small d's now by holding a graph paper or a plain paper on the screen we can record the minimals. So to record minimals we have to switch off external light. Now you will see a very clear pattern. Now I will record here I will mark the central maximum here using pencil then center of first minimum on left hand side, second minimum, third fourth, fifth, similarly on right hand side, first minimum, second, third, fourth and fifth. Okay, so I have taken these readings. Now I have recorded the readings here. So this is our central maximum and you will see these numbered are the number of minimas on both the sides first minimum second minimum first minimum second minimum on both the sides like this now to find out small d1 we will measure this distance that is from first minimum on left hand side to the first minimum on right hand side and we will take average of this distance so total distance here you will see that it is 1.9 centimeter so 1.9 centimeter divided by 2 that will give you 0.95 centimeter so our small d1 will be 0.95 centimeters similarly we can find the second d small d that is small d1 d2 so from this to this so this distance is 1 2 3.5 centimeters so average distance is 1.75 centimeters. Similarly, we can find out the remaining distances is here. Now for first reading, we will find out sine theta. So sine theta is small d1 by capital D and therefore sine theta for first reading is equal to small d1 is 0.95 centimeters divided by capital D is 184 centimeters. Now here, uh, this sine theta will come 5.16 into 10 raised to minus 3 centimeters after calculations. Now we know the slit width A is equal to lambda by sine theta and is equal to. Now what is lambda? Lambda is wavelength of helium neon laser light and that is 6328 angstrom minute and in centimeter that will be into 10 raised to minus 8 centimeters divided by sin theta. What is the value of sin theta? Value of sin theta is 5.16 into 10 raised to minus 3. So if you do this calculation, you will get this A equal to 1226.35 into 10 raised to minus 5 centimeters. Hence, our final 
answer will be 0 0.01226 centimeters. Hence, I hope uh, you have enjoyed this video and you have learned uh, new things from this experiment. Thank you.